yes, but we're uh, looking forward to the challenge, you know. He pulled the ball down. He's more so like a running back in the open field, but we think we're uh, definitely ready for the challenge. Is it weird that you guys played at this stadium, not here, but you know, Mercedes-Benz, you know, just a month ago? Uh, I mean, the fact that you guys played there already. Well, at the end of the day, it's just uh, another football field, so we have to look at it from that standpoint. It's 100 yards, you know, 100 yards, you know, in play. So we just have to look at it from that standpoint. And it's, it's you can't really blow it out of proportion. It's nice, you know, to be able to, you know, play in Atlanta, but it's, it's very close for, for Alabama as well. So not looking at anything like that as, you know, uh, uh, upper hand. Do you have a lot of family and friends coming from Montezuma? Yeah, I definitely have some uh, people up from uh, Montezuma making County up for the game. Did you get to know Minka Fitzpatrick a little bit in the award circuit and everything? Well, I didn't, like, you know, not a close relationship, but, like, you know, we uh, introduced himself, you know, and had conversations and whatnot. I think he's a uh, great guy. What Have you seen him much as a player? Because if anybody's talking about the best defense win in the SEC, it's going to be 1-1A, one and one a, which everyone – have you seen him much? Uh, definitely. You know, I know he – I don't really watch, like, uh, their defense and whatnot play, but – I've definitely seen that guy play uh, and whatnot. I think he's a phenomenal athlete and do a lot of things on the back end. Do you hear that debate though a little bit? Have you heard that a little bit? Well, you know, you hear stuff like that, but you try not to pay that much attention because at the end of the day, it's just more so focused on what we have to do here as defense and not just more so on like what I can do. How much, how much does your role change in this game? Because you went from a guy who passed all the time, I mean, they ran stuff, but, but how much does your role change with Jalen and? Hadn't passed more than 20 times in a game. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I didn't quite get you. How much does your role change from the last game to this one as far as the quarterback? Because Jalen is a guy who hasn't thrown more than 19 passes in a game all year. Oh, it's definitely uh, different. You know, it just uh, have to uh, stop the run. They're going to try to establish the run. The guy, he can pull it down, you know, zone read or just drop back pass and everything fails. Even though he keeps his eyes downfield, he can create some problems definitely in the running game. He's like a running back in the open field. Okan, what was the biggest adjustment y'all had to make to shut down Oklahoma in the third quarter? Uh, we're not really focused on that. We're just going to ride that momentum from that, uh, the, the last game, the last half of that game into this game. So we're not focused on, you know, things that happen in that game. Did it give you confidence, though? I mean, they were lighting you up in the first half, and then you just shut them down. You know, it is what it is, but we're not really focused on that. We're just more so focused on this game here. Uh, I understand that you got a lot of young linebackers coming in, you know, after you. But is it true that Richard LeCount is going to be the next Buckets Award winner at UGA? I absolutely think that is true. So I think Richard, Richard LeCount is a, a phenomenal linebacker. You know, he can he's a three-down linebacker, you know, can play the run, pass. Uh, he's also supposed to shift back the uh, defensive back if you ever need him. Uh, your dime rivals package or anything like that. So I think it'll be a great for him and Dick Buckus. Richard LeCount will be the next Bucks Award winner. Thank you. There you have it. <laughs> As a leader though of the linebacker unit, the how impressed have been just overall growth of the ball that's I think that's been great, you know, just uh, learning from a great guy, a mentor, Coach Schumann. Uh, I think he's a phenomenal guy and uh, puts us in uh, a lot of great position to be our best. So I feel like with the preparation he does and then, like, you know, the way we prepare, he helps us. So I feel like it's a, it's a great, you know, combination. Real quick, what's the secret?